that's pretty sharp. That means it's going to hurt. That means the word of truth is going to cut through you. It's going to hurt and it's going to be painful. But what are you going to do with the information? Are you going to take the sword out just lay it down since I'm done with that? Or are you going to take it out and wait to heal and, and be comforted by the Lord? Before people will ever see the goodness of the gospel, they must first realize the awfulness of their lost condition. That's going on Facebook tonight. Isn't that great? They must first realize the awfulness of their condition before they realize the goodness of the gospel. Just telling somebody when you walk in and you're lost and you walk into a church building and just tell somebody, Jesus loves you, this crap for their salvation. This crap. It doesn't do nothing. It's dead. It's dead. To tell somebody, look, it's your fornicating. It's your drugs. It's your alcohol. It's your gambling. It's your lying. It's your deceiving. It's your thieving. That is why you have been separated from God and you will burn in hell unless you turn from those things and embrace Jesus Christ. How many people think that in that building right there over this next weekend they're going to talk about fornicating? Why not? They probably won't even talk about sin. Well, why don't you think they'll talk about fornicating? They're going to talk about the glory of the birth of Jesus. Why do you think they'll talk about fornicating in there? They don't want to walk. chase away their people. And they're not, why don't you why do they want to turn away people? Yeah, you got it. It's because of the money. All the money. All the money. Five years. January 6th will be our starting our sixth year out here. And um, unless the Lord takes me home, this is what we're going to continue to do. Building or no building. You know, money or no money, because it's not about peddling the gospel for profit. It's about telling the people the truth and looking in the mirror and saying, this is the reason why. When things go astray in my life, the first thing I do is not cuss out everybody around me. The first thing I do is have a re uh, retrospect and look inside. All right, what steps have I done? Where have I where have I walked astray from the Lord? What have I done? Or what is God doing in my life in order to build me up? What is He doing? What is He what is He showing me? 